Hello, how are you doing? Um, I gave you a broadcast assignment. Uh, a lot of you were using the, trying to figure out how to talk back and forth by using seconds. We're going to use an actual broadcast to do it. Let me show you how to do that real quick. Okay, first we uh, bring up Sprite, I mean, uh, bring up Scratch, and you're going to put two sprites on the screen, and you have a background. I use the playground background, but use any background you want to, and use any two sprites you want to. Okay, go to the first sprite. I'm using my cat. He's going to be speaking to the guy, asking him a series of questions. What's your name? How old are you? Uh, what's your address? Um, he's going to ask the guy for a password. The guy's going to tell him the password, and then he's going to say, hey, uh, he's going to ask him his name again. He's going to say, hey, verify your password. And then he's got to say his password again. And if he says it right, he says, hey, your password is correct. If he says it wrong, your password is incorrect. Uh, then you have to do a random number game where you have to, pick, have to select a random number. And they say, hey, select a random number between 1 and 10. And the guy selects a number between 1 and 10. And if he gets it right, he says, hey, you're correct. You can walk by. Then you have to make the guy walk by. Okay. But if he gets it wrong, you can say, hey, I'm sorry, you got it wrong, you got to leave. Then the guy has to leave. Okay, starting off. Starting off with the cat. Uh, we're going to get the green flag to start this conversation. And instead of using the looks to ask the question or say anything, we're going to use the sensing. The reason we're using sensing is because we want a response from the guy that you actually have to type in. So we're going to ask, what's your name? And whenever you get one of these, you have to get one of these out with it also. Okay, then we're going to go to data. In data, we are going to create a variable called username. I'm going to delete this. When you first open up data, this is what you're going to see, nothing. So you're going to go make a variable, and we're going to make a variable for all sprites because everybody's going to be able to use this. So then we're going to go user name. Okay, once you make your variable for username, you're going to come up with a couple of uh, other blocks down here. We want to use the set username. So put set users. Right now it says set username to zero. We want to set the username to whatever answer that the guy types in. And then once he sets that username, we want to broadcast something to the guy to get to key him to talk. So we're going to call this new message um, name. Or let's, let's, call, let's go ahead and call the username. Call it username. Okay, so when the cat broadcasts username, he's going to pretty much screaming, username! Then the boy's going to know, hey, it's time for me to talk. So we go to the boy. Now what's going to, on the cat, we started his actions with a flag. On the boy, we're going to start his actions with the broadcast. So when I receive username, if you click on the drop-down menu, you see you got a couple of them there. Message one and username. We're just going to use one username. When I receive username, I'm going to say, hey, my name is, and then he's going to say his name. So we'll go to looks and say hello. We're going to take that and make that one second instead of two. And here we're going to type in my name is. And we're going to leave this break, and we're going to add another one, and we're going to leave the other one for two seconds. And then we're going to go to data, and we're going to grab username. Remember before, go back to the cat, we set username to answer. So now username equals um, um, whatever we type in. So we go back to the boy and put say username, which is going to be whatever we type in. So let's see if this works right quick. Click it. Cat says, what's your name? I type in my name, Mr. Walker. And I hit enter, the enter. My name is Mr. Walker. And then you need to admit, then the boy needs to broadcast finish name. When a cat gets the finished name broadcast, the cat then asks another question. How old are you? And then we go through that same process again. I'm giving you the first part. Now y'all have to try to figure out the rest. Remember, you need to ask the name, age, address, um, 
You got to ask them a password, and then you got to go to your operators and figure out how to check for that password. And you're going to have to use the variables for your password. User password, you're going to have a variable called user age, you're going to have a variable called user address. And then you have one where you're going to have to uh, uh, make a random number. You can ask the boy, say, hey, select a random number between 1 and 10. If the boy gets the number right the first time, you say, okay, you can pass. Let him pass. If the boy doesn't get it right the first time, say, hey, you're wrong. Try again. Give him three chances. Once you give him three chances, if he doesn't get it right, say, I'm sorry, you have to leave. Boy, Then the boy leaves. And that's pretty much how this project is going to end up finishing. I'm going to help you all along through it. There's going to be different stages, but I know you all can do it. Good luck.